Hello there viewers, Expert Bomber here and welcome to another Fallout 4 tutorial. So today I have for you a how to find and fix uh, Dr. Anderson. She is a level 4 merchant and she owns a surgery center usually. She doesn't, I don't think she sells any legendary items, but I'm going to go in an in-depth tutorial on how to actually get her. Let's see if she actually sells anything legendary. I don't recall of that yeah she doesn't sell anything legendary but it's just cool to actually have a real doctor in your settlement and sell instead of just you know freaking this settler which looks like a freaking drifter but anyway so the way to get her um she's a random encounter and we've all heard that before people looking for any random encounters are probably just annoyed the hell out of everything the hardest one to find for me was the freaking scribe and I, I still couldn't get him so, with Doc Anderson, it was kind of weird. It was kind of random, actually, how I got her. But the place I found her on the second try was the Mass Fusion Containment Shed. And that, my friends, is, well, relatively near Sanctuary. Eh, you would say, like, to the other side of the map, but still. So, at least it's closer to Sanctuary than you would normally see. But, yep, that's where it is. And basically... I'm gonna show you some footage now, just... I actually found her three or four... T like, I went back to the quick save three or four times. She was not... I could not get her to work for me. Until I actually moved her to my settlement with some console commands. For some reason, when I moved her to my settlement, she was commandable by me. Which means that the bugs that all these random encounters have are probably that they are already uh, commanded to be in your settlement. Which is weird, because you've never actually met them before. Okay, so I almost forgot the most important thing, which was to uh, actually build their... Whatever random encounter does, like, look up the encounters and read what they, like, actually do. So, like, for, I don't know, um, Doc Weathers, it would be like a clinic, a surgery center, whatever it's called. And to make a surgery center, or in general... Uh, some type of emporium type thing you want to go to your uh, usually it's gonna be it stores in general by themselves like I have mods installed so it's way more so it'd be like under clinic and I'd, you wouldn't have all of these you would just have like this one you would have this one and you would have this one so the requirements for this are quite simple um, you need five wood Three steel, easy up to now, but you also need 1800 bottle caps, so keep that in mind. You also need the perk local leader on rank 2, and the medic perk on rank 1, to have a surgery center. And that, for some reason, when I made the surgery center and got her, she, and I talked to her again, she was actually just um, willing to work for me for some reason, and I just asked her. But also have a decent amount of charisma, because you also need, I think, a good amount of settlers, like 10, 20 settlers or something for that, for her to actually work for you. But I would keep it to, like, at least 20 just to be safe, or 19, or something like that. But I don't actually think it has to do with the settlers, just because I found Larry when I was, like, at 28, 29 settlers, and he needed 30. Alright, so the actual commands that you use, um, th these commands are basically, if you cannot find her, so, like, the how to find her, I told you, you just go to the, the mass fusion, where was that, the mass fusion containment shed, if you find her and actually are able to get her to work for you, um, then you're fine, but the point is, there's a chance of her not showing up if you get her to go there, so if you do not get her to show up, you are going to want to write, um, Prid 00190047. I'm gonna have all these on the screen right now. Then you're gonna wanna do disable, enable, and move to player. That those are gonna be all your commands. And in case you don't know how to open the console, it's sometimes it's on default, but otherwise you have to go through the settings to actually uh, use it. It's this weird squiggly thing. I don't know this thing. I don't, I don't know what to call it. But otherwise, now there's a, there's another chance which with Smiling Larry mostly. I don't know if it's with her too. But Smiling Larry would not be 
I could not command him to do anything, so he was not commandable. He was he would just stay up there and do crops wherever I had crops. So with this one, uh, it's probably more simple, but I also did these commands just to be. Uh, I, this was like a thing of caution, so I just like so I don't lose her somewhere and have to move her back, which I did lose her and I had to move her back because she was not. I didn't type these commands. So the commands again are gonna be set PV. I don't know what that stands for. B commandable uh, set to one. B allow move set to uh, one, and B allow caravan uh, set to one. They, well, I don't. You don't write the set two. I'll just have that on the screen. And yeah, that is basically it for that. Now, uh, if you have any other uh, suggestions or actual problems with her coming back to your settlement. Like I said, this tutorial may not be helpful for everyone, and especially is not going to be helpful for console users. I am sorry for you guys, but basically, if you do actually find her and she's not able to come to your settlement, there's no way to get her there because you do not have console commands. So anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did, and also comment down below uh, any videos you would like me to do next or actual problems you had with finding her and getting her to work for you. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.